More than 80,000 have come to the capital of Wisconsin to watch what should be a very entertaining battle here at Camp Randall Stadium. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Oregon has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And he's taken down at the 43. you got to love opening the game with a solid kick return like this. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He passes it. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. On the ground, up the middle. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. That's a game. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. So that'll make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Johnson is the deep man awaiting the return. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Oregon's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. James picks up about seven yards on the run. That'll bring up second and three. It's second and three. Ball on their own 27. And they make the stop at the 26-yard line. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. to the tight end. Tackle made at the 47-yard line. Well, that's a big play by the offense. And I got to tell you, as a defense coordinator, you're blitzing and you're taking some chances. And it's one thing to blitz and to get to the quarterback and everybody high fives and gets excited. But if you blitz and you don't get home, as they say, which means hitting the quarterback, you're leaving your defensive backs one-on-one -on -one in coverage. And if you don't get to that quarterback and you're facing a talented quarterback like this man right here, you're going to pay for it. Brought down around the 38-yard line. That brings up second and one. Second and one coming up here. Ball on the 38. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. He's on the run. Slides down to the ground. Well, that's the second time that this defense has given up a first down on third down. You work so hard as a defense to get an offense to third down. When you get them there, you've got to be able to have somebody step up and make a big play, whether it's a defensive tackle slipping through a block, a linebacker shooting a gap, a defender in the secondary that's able to make a play on a football. Somebody's got to make a play, and that's what winning, the difference between winning a football game and losing is how you play on third down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Yeah. 
And off, and he's met immediately. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. Oregon could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he got it. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. Three nothing, Oregon. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Oregon's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. They'll bring him down around the 22-yard line. From their own 22-yard line, second down. Pass complete and taken down immediately. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. And they push him out at about the 33-yard line. That makes it fourth and inches. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. We're about set to start things up again. Oregon is up a field goal. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Around five yards on the delayed handoff. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. You know, for a safety, this guy has really good hands. I'm very surprised to see him drop an interception like that. Could come back to haunt his team as well. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Got it and brought down immediately. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. Heading for the corner. He'll take it from the 18. Knocked out of bounds at the 32. The Ducks are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you've talked to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like this. Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it second and six. From their own 36-yard line, second down. He's taken down at the 36-yard line. Man can't tack on any yardage. That'll make it fourth and two. 
Johnson back deep to return. Tackle at the 30-yard line. Let's get some points going right now. Not a lot of offense here in the opening quarter. I'm with you. I'd like to see a lot more offense than we've seen up to this point. Give credit to the defenses, but I think you're going to see both these offense coordinators get more of a feel for things and start to adjust their play call. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Oregon has a three-point lead. He's scrambling, and he's sacked. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. They come out on an empty backfield. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. He's out of bounds around the 36-yard line. James to punt. And he's tackled at the 35. Oregon's defense is playing lights out right now, pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, it just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they could shut this offense out. Tackle at the 37-yard line. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 37. He's got an opening. He's pushed out of bounds around the 30-yard line. see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. That's a great tackle at the 22-yard line. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. And he's immediately tackled. Yeah, a little bit too much air under that throw, but this receiver has the bounce you need to bring in those high passes. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. From a defensive coordinator standpoint, it can really help out your scheme when you get excellent run support by the corner. It's third and nine. Ball on the 17-yard line. Wants to throw outside. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. 
A seven play, 65 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 7 3. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 24 yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he's taken down at the 26. Second and eight. Ball on the 26. quarter of play we've got a low scoring defensive battle on our hands Wisconsin's up by four back to the action now here in the second quarter he's tackled around the 27 yard line Third and six. Ball on the 27 yard line. Handoff up the middle. And he's tackled at about the 35. He gets another set of downs and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And down he goes at the 45 yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. They come out in a five wide set. Dumps it complete over the middle. And he hits him hard at the 41. That's a game of 14 yards on the play. First down. Man left, man left. Two down, two down. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. Watch the line, 88. Watch the line, 88. Gonna go across the middle, caught. And they make the stop at the 33. That's a game of eight on the play. That, that makes, makes it second, second and two. two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He fights forward to about the 30. Call it again, three yards. This is the eighth play of this drive. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Chain brings him down with the 26-yard line. That makes it second and six. From the 26-yard line, second down. Again with a carry. Has some daylight. Makes it to the 17. That makes it first. Tenth play of the drive. There's a strike complete. He's down. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 12 yard line. for a loss. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Fires across the middle. Tackle made right around the eight yard line. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Down, 
He makes it to the six-yard line. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That makes it first and goal. This is the 14th play of this drive. Gets out to about the six yard line. From the six yard line, it's second down. Brought down around the three yard line. And this is the 16th play of the drive. And he tackles him hard at the four. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. Fourth down. This one should be makeable. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 31-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Wisconsin up a point. They'll bring him down at about the 41. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Taken down right around the 32-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 32. This flag came from the defensive secondary. Let's see what the call is. Pass interference. There was just too much contact to ignore. You always want to let him play, but that was just too much. From the 20 yard line, first down. Gains his way to the 10-yard line. And he stopped behind the line. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Wisconsin with a one-point lead. Nice run to the left there. After a decent pickup. From the three yard line. Second down. They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. Looking for the corner. Touchdown, Badgers.
That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. And he adds the extra point. A seven-play, 71-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 29. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. On the ground, left side. They'll knock him down for a loss. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 27. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. come. Boy, that hurts the offense to have to go three and out. We're going to have to think about how to get something going the next time they come out. James awaits the snap. He's to the 40. And he's taken down at the 47. Here comes the offense as they look to find the end zone yet again. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. From the 34-yard line, first down. Wisconsin up by eight. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Deep pass to the end zone, and it's intercepted by the senior cornerback. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. First and 10. Ball on the 20. Complete. He's got room. Tackle around the 42-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what. The defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's taken down at about the 49. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Oregon's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Three down, three down. Oh. 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 
Wants to go long and does. Incomplete. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. From the 27-yard line, it's first down. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. And this play is number eight on the drive. Five wide. And it's caught. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Fires out to his wide out. Nice play to set up first and goal. Throws and it's incomplete. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. It's the 11th play of the drive. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. Catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And they're looking to get two points here. They come out on an empty backfield. They don't get it. So a 10 play, 80 yard drive. And they'll come away with six points after failing on the two-point conversion. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Inside handoff. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. So the Badgers in front by two. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to filling a close game. You feel like it is going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. But you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreit and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin, and we got a tight game here. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. A little toss across the middle. And down he goes at the 34. 
that makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 34-yard line. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. quickly and he's got his man and he's level at the 40 yard line James is waiting for the snap he's out to the 30 he makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Wisconsin with a two-point advantage. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. From their own 33-yard line, second down. And they make the stop around the 39-yard line. <laughs> Caught, and this is going to be a first down. And he's tackled at the 48. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. That makes it second and 10. Tackle made at about the 47-yard line. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Got him on the screenplay. Brought down at the 41-yard line. Birch makes the tackle at the 41-yard line. Fourth down. Watch 19, watch 19. Wisconsin is up two. He's under some heat. Steps up in the pocket and sacked. And the defense comes through. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure, but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Nice play fake. That's a great tackle. That's the 46. It's first and 10. Ball on the 46. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. He 
fights forward to around midfield. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. They'll bring him down at the 28. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 28. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. catch and he's got room here he's taken down right around the 16 yard line first and 10 ball on the 16 and he has it on the corner now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game here's the eighth play of the series Looks to a receiver, touchdown! And so he found his receiver for the score. And you know, the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. Oregon is up by four. And they won't get the two. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Oregon's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he's hit immediately. What we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless from their own 37-yard line. First down. He fights forward to about the 40. taken down throws it to the halfback on the screen that's a loss of about five well that's just a sound play by the defense they dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage Johnson is back deep to return
Johnson fields it at the 22, and he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. They bring him down in the backfield. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 30. Oregon holds a four-point lead. And he's immediately tackled. That makes us third and three. Tackle at about the 43 yard line. That's a deep five on the way. That makes it first and ten. From their own 43 yard line. First down. Throws in a hurry. And it's incomplete. him hard at the 46 yard line they'll line it up again on third down so an empty backfield with five wide receivers throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete you know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. The wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it. Let's move on to the next play. So they'll overturn the call and rule this a completion. There was a bad call made on the field, but they were able to fix it because of the replay. This is exactly why the Booth Review is a great thing for college football. He guns it left side. And he's taken down at the 21-yard line. From the 21-yard line, it's first down. Oregon is up four. Play fake, looking to run. Inside the 10. What a play, and that is first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the two. Let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here. And the goal line defense digging in here. Going to the end zone. Touchdown for the tight end. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Strike to his receiver, no good. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Black 
Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled at the 32. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's tackled right away. First and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Makes it to the 47. So we're looking at another third down here. Tackled after a decent pickup. He makes his way out to about the 35. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. Oregon's in front by 11. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. out on the screen incomplete we're at play number nine of this current drive and he's hit before he can go anywhere fires out quickly to the tailback they lose three yards there pretty good stand there they weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. Let's go! Red 18! Red 18! Hut, 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 hut. Fires it quickly. Braddy drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. The kick is up. And he got it. You know, I was wondering if he's going to get a chance to kick one of those. We saw him warming up from 60 yards before the game. The score now, Oregon 25, Wisconsin 17. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. A score here might effectively end this one. Oregon holds an eight-point advantage. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. That's good to have been five yards. That brings him second and five. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. complete over the middle and he's level at the 41 this is a quarterback who trusts his receivers and he knows they can make plays it's like those two were playing catch out there from their own 41 yard line first down 
and he is drilled at the 47-yard line. That'll make it second and four. Come on, baby. Let's see what you got. Throwing right. He's got 300 yards passing now. You can tell the quarterback's done a really good job of preparing because he's read the defense like a pro all day long. From the 24-yard line, first down. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. Nice run there as they work the outside. That'll make it second and four. Oregon is up by eight. Goes to the end zone. The defender had it and then dropped it. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Here's the pass, broken up. Well, that's one effective way to slow these guys down, getting a hand between the ball and the receiver. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We're set to get restarted as the offense looks to build on the success of their field goal on the last drive. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. And they hit him in the backfield. He sails it long. Incomplete. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. That makes it fourth and 12. Johnson awaiting the return. Johnson fields it at the 38. He makes it out to midfield. This senior quarterback put on a good show, Kirk. Well, the thing that stands out to me is the way he's getting the football to his receivers. And with the experience that he's gained over the years, it's very obvious how relaxed he's playing and the way he's delivering and distributing the football. He'd love to keep the offense rolling along here and get even more separation. The offense ready to go again. And their last drive ended with three points. Great run, and he's brought down in the backfield. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 48. Stepping up, throws it deep. Can't make the grab. Takes it and he's tackled short. Yeah. 
James is the punter. Tackle at the 26. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They're about four yards away here on second down. He steps out at the 36. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. Loss of one on the play. That'll bring up fourth and one. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. They'll drop him for a loss. The defense holds, and the ball will change hands. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin him up and cause the turnover on down. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Nice run up the middle. That's a game of six on That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. It's first down and they'll be looking for six points here. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Touchdown, Ducks! Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. And he tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And the defense stopped them cold on fourth down during their last drive. Hey, Brad, remember the last time this offense came out of the field? Of course, they went for it on fourth down. Sometimes it drives me crazy when we call all these games, and these guys out here go for it all the time on fourth down. Here's a message. If it's longer than fourth and five, just consider a field goal or a punt. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and he's shoved out of bounds around the 26-yard line. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Right, 
Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Did you see how calm he looked as he stood back there and read the defense? When you know what you're doing and what should be happening, it makes things a lot easier. Quick strike, and he drops it. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. Just under three to go in regulation. Steps up in the pocket. He's wrapped up for the sack. That's a loss of seven yards. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Johnson will be the return man. Johnson fields it at the 39. He's taken down at the 46. The Ducks coaching staff stuck to their game plan. It worked. Yeah, give him a lot of credit for coming up with a plan where they knew they could find ways to get him the football. Even with all the recognition and defense being concerned about him, they came up with that plan and this young man delivered. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 46. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. James picks up five with the carry. Under a minute left. Tackle right around the 46 yard line. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.